EA Sports, and this is Madden Ultimate Team. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Detroit Lions. With that, let's head inside to Ford Field in Detroit. We're standing by are the two men who will bring you this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. Bringing them out onto the field, Michael Vick, the all-time leading rusher from the QB position, over 6,100 yards. Yeah, he averaged seven yards per carry. Another NFL record for him. How about the nicknames that, that people gave him? The human joystick, the human cheat code. I'm just telling you, watching him play, I pulled muscles in the booth watching him, thinking about trying to tackle him. He was that type of a player, hard to get on the ground. The run there on first down gets him a yard to the 26. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. On third down, Vic dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all it does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success, how about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Six-time Pro Bowler Calvin Johnson, the intended target. But it's going to be second down. Second down, Vic again, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to hold that one in. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this, and he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. They'll run. It's Sanders. Run in for a Lions touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone, they do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. Now Adam Vinatieri for the point after. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. 
So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And Barry Sanders, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. been a Terry now to kick it away after the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. So the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league. The great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth, and it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. They will run the draw with Jacobs. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Shotgun now for Brady. Aaron this one out for Evans. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On is the Hall of Famer Ray Guy to punt this away on fourth down. And Sanders now to return. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Lions will take over. Now Michael Vick and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive. And he's been fun to watch run the football. We know he can pass, but using his legs effectively here in this one. No doubt about it. Watch him maneuver in the pocket, out of the pocket, making the plays that he's making, which are breaking down the defense. I thought back to when we had our morning jog before the game. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with you. Those left. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Rod Woodson with a pick. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. Where do they go to here? Well, you don't look down to play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> so here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we're watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. On first and 10, here's Brady. Got a man. It's Andre Reid. A gain of six there on first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Brady's throw there complete, and it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 28. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Brady now to throw. This one caught by Winslow. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. To throw again on second down. Brady, he finds his target. It's Evans. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The first opportunity for the Steelers in the red zone. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They were trying to go to Brown once again, but it'll be second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. He was trying to go back to Hollywood there, but now it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Now Brady. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? You got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. Dan, in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Here comes Michael Vick now leading his offense back out there. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell him that's all. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory. A big play there just before halftime. 67 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. He will push his way down to about the 14. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Vic with a give to Sanders, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And Vinatieri's kick is good. First half in the... All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Throwing is Brady on third down. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. 
so much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 30, 10, 5, touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. 95 yards. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Brady. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Devin Bush in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Now Sanders. A great return there, bobbing and weaving his way for 31 yards. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. Here's Vic off the play fake for Sanders. That's complete to Calvin Johnson. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A very solid gain of 27. A first down throw coming for Vic. That one complete to Hill. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Johnson was the intended receiver. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Calvin Johnson there to make the grab. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. 
They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Brady. And this one complete to Reed. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 36 yards on the play. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Throw right side is hauled in by the tight end, Gonzalez. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Throwing again on second down, Brady. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot. Not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try to take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. Okay, you're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. That's it. Big hit. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go with Jacobs and try to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short, and he is short. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Lions will take over. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Despite the late lead, Vick's going to throw. Buying time to his left. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Now, that was a whole lot of open space out in front of him, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom. He took advantage of it. On first and ten, here's Vic. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. And they're going to speed things up here. Looking to throw again on second down. Vic steps away to his left. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. So let's see who this is on. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say... That's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Here's Michael Vick. He can run for it, and he will. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 35. 
The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Another run here with Sanders. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now we'll get whistles, and they've signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. On third and one, here's Vic. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Calvin Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Well, I've got a laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings exactly. there. Exactly. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. Finitary able to tack on the PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we 